Hello and welcome to another C++ tutorial. Now in this video we're going to learn the concept of functions. Now this is very very important. So let's get started. Now function is a block of code which we can call from anywhere in the program. So we place a block of code inside a function and then whenever we call the function inside our program those codes gets automatically executed so let's check out how that happens suppose I write a function here and in order to write a function first of all we have to give the function a name let's name it func function and we have to place a pair of parentheses a pair of parentheses in after the name of the function and then we have to place we have to place a pair of curly brackets or embraces after the functions parameters or uh, parentheses okay so first of all the name of the function a pair of parentheses a pair of curly braces and before the function you have to give a return type a return type basically means what we want in return from this function now from this function we don't want anything in return so I'll write void so whenever we don't want anything returned from the function we write void like in case of main function we wanted we wanted an integer in return that is why we have written int so here we don't want to we don't want anything in return from this function so that is why we write void here now suppose inside the function I'm going to print something I'm going to print I'm Raja and um, cool what I am really <laughs> don't believe me okay and let me copy this a couple of times so so inside the function I have written all these statements so whenever I call this function within the program all these statements will be executed so I don't have to write all these things again and again and again whenever I want suppose there were hundred statements I need to do and I just put them inside a function so whenever I call the function all those hundred statements will get called so let's see that in action so in order to call a function we just have to write the name of the function and give a pair of parentheses and a semicolon so this is how we call a function so we just write the name of the function parentheses and give a semicolon so whenever we place this thing inside our program this function gets called and all these things gets executed now the best thing about a function is this thing is stored only in one place in memory and we can use it whenever we want okay so let's try to run it and see what happens let's run it now it gives an error here so why is that because before using a function in our program we have to tell the compiler that we have a functional letter in our program so in order to let the compiler know that we have already created a function letter we have to create something called function part drive or function declaration now in order to create a function declaration we just go and copy this part and paste it right in there and at last we put a semicolon here so what happens is by this the compiler understands that we have created a function later uh, which has a definition like this and we have a declaration here so when you go and run it now uh, as you can see uh, it just runs and we have the output here so this was the basics of functions uh, okay in the last minute let me go over a little bit about how we can put a return type suppose I want to return a value from this function this was a void function suppose I want to return an integer from this function so I'll go and just change it to int so it will return an integer now suppose inside that I just put a variable a and inside that I put a value 5 now I can return the value of a from this function so whenever I run the function what will happen is it will return me the value of a which is an integer 
since we have created an integer function now make sure to just update the function declaration here with the return type now in order to make the function work first of all we have to write the function so this will just call this function and return a now we have to store the returned value somewhere so we go and create another variable called b and inside that we store the value of the value that is returned from this function so first of all this function will be called and it will return a value which will get stored inside this variable named b so what happens is the value gets passed from the right to the left so this function gets called this thing happens this returns and gets stored inside b so let's go ahead and uh, print the value of b and c if this works so let's run it and as you can see it is 5 it is shown 5 as we have given the value of a5 so what happens is it runs and returns 5 this stores in b and the next line we just print the value of the b so everything happens like that so this was the basics of functions i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please make sure to subscribe and thank you very very much for watching so see you in the next video